The story of electricity is a long and fascinating one, full of brilliant minds and accidental discoveries. It wasn't invented by a single person at a single moment, but rather it evolved over centuries. Our journey begins around 600 BC with the Greek philosopher Thales of Miletus. Thales noticed that when he rubbed amber with fur, it attracted light objects like feathers. He didn't know why, but he observed it, noting that the rubbing of the amber created static electricity. Fast forward to the 16th century, and we meet William Gilbert, an English physician and scientist. Gilbert conducted careful experiments and concluded that amber wasn't the only substance that could produce this effect. He called these substances electrics, from the Greek word for amber, electron. Hmm, interesting. Glass and sulfur also display this attractive property, Gilbert said, observing his experiment. In the 17th century, Otto von Guericke, a German scientist, built the first electric generator. It was a sulfur globe that, when rubbed, produced static electricity and even sparks. Von Guericke demonstrated how his device could attract feathers and other small objects from a distance marking a significant step forward. Benjamin Franklin, the famous American statesman and scientist, conducted his famous kite experiment in 1752. He flew a kite during a thunderstorm and observed that the key attached to the kite string became electrically charged, proving that lightning was a form of electricity. Eureka, it is indeed electrical. Luigi Galvani, an Italian physician, made a groundbreaking discovery when he noticed that a frog's leg twitched when touched by two different metals. Galvani believed he had discovered animal electricity, suggesting that living tissues possessed an innate electrical force. Alessandro Volta, another Italian scientist, disagreed with Galvani's theory. He believed that the electricity wasn't coming from the animal itself, but from the metals. Volta went on to invent the first electric battery, the voltaic pile, made of alternating discs of zinc and copper, separated by cloth soaked in brine. In the 19th century, Michael Faraday, an English scientist, made crucial contributions to our understanding of electromagnetism. Faraday discovered electromagnetic induction, demonstrating that a changing magnetic field could produce an electric current. 